Jessica Sanford, a Washington working single mom, was paraded out by Barack Obama as a success story, how she was able to acquire insurance. But that's not how the story ended. Has the heroine turned into a goat? Let's watch this unfold. You know, I recently received a letter from a woman named Jessica, Stan uh, Jessica Sanford in Washington State. And here's what she wrote. Uh, I am a single mom, no child support, self-employed, and I haven't had insurance for 15 years because it's too expensive. My son has ADHD and requires regular doctor visits, and his meds alone cost $250 per month. I've had an ongoing tendonitis problem due to my line of work that I haven't had treated. Now, finally, we get to have coverage because of the ACA for $169 per month. I was crying the other day when I signed up, so much stress lifted. That's what the Affordable Care Act is all about. The point is the essence of the law, the health insurance that's available to people, is working just fine. In some cases, actually, it's exceeding expectations. The prices are lower than we expected. The choice is greater than we expected. The law is working just fine. It's exceeding expectations. Prices are lower. That would be a wonderful story for Jessica Sanford and her son, but that's not how things worked out. Yes, Jessica was looking forward to affordable health care that would cover her untreated tendonitis and her son's ADHD that requires routine doctor visits and $250 a month in medications. But alas, she got a couple of letters, first informing her that there had been a miscalculation in the proposed billing, that her subsidy would be reduced, and finally informing her that she would get no subsidy whatsoever. She would have to pay $390 a month and cover all the deductibles. I got the letter telling me that they had made an another mistake and that I wasn't going to be getting any tax credit at all. And so when I went online to look at the plan I had bought, it went up to $390. It was a huge disappointment. And especially since I had, you know, my story had been shared by the president. Jessica now says she won't be able to afford any insurance. In fact, in addition to paying for her and her son's medical needs, she's going to have to pay the Obamacare tax. That's about an additional $490. What does the president now have to say about his model applicant, Ms. Sanford? He sent his press secretary, Jay Carney, to let us know. We're certainly uh, as sorry as, as, uh, as we can be that Jessica is one of the folks that has been affected by this, if that's the case, as reported. If that's the case? When it was good news, no one said, if that's the case. I think you and the president are just throwing Ms. Sanford and her son under the bus. No, Jessica Sanford isn't a goat, but there are two goats in this story.